Okay, so you asked about um, clay renders in Revit, and it's a little bit of a hack. Um, I sent you a link to an Autodesk um, thing on it, but I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video about it. So basically what I'm going to do is use phase filtering. So um, I'm going to duplicate this view, and I'll rename it, you know, 3D clay, right? So I just have a different view that I'm starting from, and then I'm going to go to my Manage tab, and I'm going to go to Phases, and I'm going to go to Phase Filters, and I'm going to create a new Phase Filter, and I'm going to name it, you know, like Clay clay Render, and <clears throat> I'm going to set the new category, because all of this is new construction, to Overridden, and if you had anything existing that you wanted to be overridden, you would do that, and then we don't have anything demolished, but you can put these at not displayed and adjust these however you want, right? In our case, the overridden is the most important. Um, and then I'm going to click OK. Oh, and then, sorry, I'm going to go to Graphic Overrides. Um, and for New, I'm going to come in here and click on the Phase New material. And I'm going to replace it with a new material that I'm going to make. So I'm just going to go and create a new material and I'll name it clay, right? And click OK. Oh well, use render appearance and then set it to whatever appearance you want. So I'll set it to white, right? So click OK, click OK, and click OK. All right. And now what I want to do is come in and apply that phase filter to this new view. So if you look at phase filter, right here it's saying show all, and I'm just going to come down and pick um, clay render, right? And so you're going to see it turn everything white. So now if I were to render this, it's going to render all white. Now the shortcoming is that the glass turns white. So there's a couple of options for this. Um, one that's a little bit more complex, but basically the one that I will typically do is I'll just go into my visibility graphics and I will turn the glass off. So for example, if I come in here and turn off my curtain panels and hit apply, you're going to see those curtain panels disappear, right? And if I come in and those are doors that are placed in the curtain panels, so I could go to the doors and expand the doors and get rid of the panel and the doors. Right, and you'll see them disappear there. And then if I come in and turn off the windows, right, if it's categorized correctly, I can turn off the window glass and apply, right, and it'll turn off the windows. It's not ideal, but it's it's quick enough. And now if you render, you'll get a, a clay. And you can do this for, for perspectives as well. Okay.